This is one of a series of lectures given by the Further Mathematics Support Programme for A-Level Maths Revision. In this lecture we're looking at Edexcel Decision Maths 1 specification and the particular topic is route inspection, sometimes known as Chinese postman problem. So the idea of the algorithm then is to find the shortest route around a network which goes along each edge, each arc, at least once and ends at the start vertex. And the network can have up to four odd nodes. Now it's possible for a route to start and end at the same node if all of the nodes have even order. So if all nodes are even, that is there are an even number of arcs coming into them, then we can start and end at the same place. We can always make a graph into such uh, a, a, a graph with even arcs by going over some of the roots more than once. To do that, if there are any odd nodes, these need to be paired. And in your solution, you should show all possible pairings that you can have. Now at most you'll have four odd nodes, A, B, C and D, so we can look at three possible pairings. A, B and C, D together, A, C and B, D, and A, D and B, C. So those are the three possibilities and you would expect it to show how those can be paired in a uh, particular question and use the pairing which has least weight. Finally a question may then go on and say well it's possible for in the, uh, some circumstances to start and end at different points. If that is the case then we can have two odd nodes are allowed. If we have two odd nodes then we can start and end at those nodes. So those produce the start and end points for the root. Okay, now illustrate those points by looking at an exam question. We should always read through the question to familiarise ourselves with the context. So in this one, we've got a figure 5, which is a network of roads, or models a network of roads. And the road markings on these roads are to be renewed. So the number of on each arc represents the length in kilometres of that road. And in order to renew the road markings, each road must tra be traversed at least once. So this is just setting up a typical um, Chinese postman type of problem. It says we are to use the route inspection algorithm starting and finishing at A to find a suitable route which should be stated. You must then you must make your method and working clear. In particular for our solution then is to state the roads that must be traversed twice and the length of the route. Notice in the diagram, if you look closely at the bottom there, we are told that the total weight of the network that we have is 31.6 kilometres. That will be useful. We don't have to add up all of those numbers. We're actually told that it's 31.6 kilometres. Having done that part of the question, we're told that uh, we can only have a delivery to D, but it can finish at any vertex. So this is changing the situation now to where we have two odd nodes. D is an odd node, so we'll be allowed to finish at an odd node. It says each road must still be traversed at least once. And then given that we still need to minimize the route, determine where the machine should finish and giving reasons. Now we're not asked necessarily 
to um, do the root again. We don't have to list the root again. We simply need to look at where it needs to finish if it's starting at D and the root as a minimum. The first step then is to identify the odd nodes and these are at D, A, I and F. You should normally expect there to be four although there may only be two in some questions. Those are our odd nodes and so what we need to do is to then look at the possible pairings. So the odd nodes we should list them are A, D, F and I. So our possible pairings are A to D, but if we look closely at the diagram, we can't go directly from A to D. The shortest path is via E. So we've got actually A, E, D, and that has length 4.5 or weight 4.5. The other link then from F to I again can't do that directly but the least weight is via H so F H I and that is 5.3 giving a total there of 9.8 now we do a similar thing for each of the other pairs A to F which is in fact via E is 5.8 and then D to I via G is 3.9 giving a total of 9.7 and then the third set of pairings A to I via E which is 5.9 and D to F also via E is 5.1 giving there a total of 11.0 we want the least weighted pair so there we are we link A to F and D to I and it's worth putting that onto the diagram so A to F via E and D to I via G now the next part of the question we're asked to find a, the route that we've got starting at A. Now we've got to go along all of the arcs at least once. It is possible to go wrong with this but in general if you move round in a clockwise direction and then when you get to one that we have to repeat do that so coming along here to G to I and then back again along those ones that we're repeating then continuing in that fashion coming round our route to E back to along to I then H F do the loop that we've got from F to E to A and then back along and then finally C to A. Now there's more than one answer to that. There are several different ones but I'll write that one out in a list and what you should do is just for your for your list write out in order the nodes that you visited. So we'll start I started at A, went to B to D to G 
to I and then back again to G to D then to E along to I then from I to H to F and then did the loop from F to E to A and back again E to F and finished off with C to A. We're asked to say which routes we repeated, which arcs or which which rows we repeated. And so we should look at the pairings that we used A, E, F. So we repeated A, E and E, F. And then D, G, I. So D, G and G, I were repeated. The total length of our route, well that's the 31.6 that we're told in the question, plus the repeats that we've done, which were 9.7. So giving a total of 41.3 kilometers. The mark allocation for this part of the question was first of all giving a method mark as long as you've got all the possible pairs and then A marks, accuracy marks, A1, A1 and A1 for the correct values of the weights of those pairings. An A mark for a correct route A B mark for the repetitions that we had, which parts of the route were had to be repeated. And then a method mark and A mark for the answer 41.3. In the last part of the question, we're asked to uh, find the route if we are allowed to start at D and finish at any other uh, node on the on the network. Now the other node must be one of the odd ones. So it will either be A, F or I that we finish at. To determine which one it is, what we need to do is to pair the other two. So the two that we're not going to start and finish at must still be paired together. So we've got to look at all the possibilities. Those are A could be linked to I or it could be linked to F or indeed F and H uh, sorry A, F and I could be linked together now the working for that we've already done in the previous part of the question <coughs> so we've got the length for those particular values already here we've got AEI at 5.9 AEF at 5.8 and FHI at 5.3 so they were 5.9 5.8 and 5.3 and that was from part A of the question so which is the smallest of those the smallest weight which we're going to use is FHI so we should pair those together and therefore we end at A We're not asked to work out a route for that, 
but that would be relatively straightforward as long as you start and finishing at uh, at A. Sorry, starting at D and finishing it at A, I beg your pardon. Okay, that's the end of that particular lecture. Other lectures are available for all of the different modules and you'll find details on the website www.furthermaths.org.uk.